The Nazca Lines, located in the arid Peruvian coastal plain approximately 400 kilometers south of Lima, are one of the most enigmatic and extraordinary legacies of the ancient cultures of Peru. Named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994, the Nazca Lines are renowned for their size, precision, diversity, and the mystery that still shrouds their purpose. The Nazca Lines are believed to have been created by the Nazca Culture, a pre-Incan civilization that flourished from around 100 BCE to 800 CE. The exact purpose of the lines remains unknown, which makes them an important subject of study for archaeologists and anthropologists. The Nazca Lines provide valuable insights into the Nazca civilization's understanding of astronomy, geometry, and possibly their religious beliefs. Many of the figures correlate with the positions of celestial bodies, suggesting that the Nazca may have used them as an astronomical calendar or for rituals related to agriculture. The Nazca Lines hold significant cultural importance for the people of Peru. They are a symbol of national pride and a testament to the country's rich and diverse cultural history. They also hold spiritual significance for many indigenous communities, who consider them sacred. The lines are an integral part of Peru's identity and cultural heritage. They have been featured in literature, music, and visual arts, and have sparked the imagination of countless people worldwide. They have also played a significant role in shaping Peru's tourism industry, attracting thousands of visitors each year. The Nazca lines contribute to broader understanding and appreciation of human creativity and ingenuity. Their creation required not only a high level of artistic skill, but also a sophisticated understanding of the local environment and probably complex social organization. The lines also have a role in raising global awareness about the importance of preserving historical sites. Their fragile existence in a changing environment underlines the need for ongoing protection and preservation of such sites, to ensure that future generations can learn from and appreciate these unique aspects of human cultural heritage. In the realm of popular culture, the mystery surrounding the lines has sparked numerous theories, including those involving ancient astronauts and extraterrestrial beings. These speculations, while not supported by scientific evidence, reflect the enduring fascination of humans with the unknown and the unexplained. The Nazca lines serve as a potent reminder of the rich tapestry of human culture and the enduring mysteries of our shared past. Their historical and cultural significance extends far beyond the boundaries of Peru, offering invaluable insights into the ancient world and the human capacity for creativity and complexity. Chichen Itza is an archaeological site located in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. It is one of the most visited and studied historical sites in the country, famous for its large pyramid, known as El Castillo or the Temple of Kukulkan. The site carries immense historical and cultural significance that spans over a thousand years. Historically, Chichen Itza is one of the most important remnants of the Mayan civilization, which flourished in Central America from around 250 AD until its decline in the 10th century. It represents the epicenter of Mayan political, economic, and cultural life during the late Classic and early post-Classic periods. It was one of the great cities of the Mayan civilization, comparable to Tikal and Palenque, and its architecture and artifacts provide archaeologists with invaluable insights into the Mayan way of life. One of the remarkable historical aspects of Chichen Itza is its demonstration of the fusion of Mayan and Toltec cultures. Around the 10th century, the city came under the influence or possibly direct rule of the Toltecs from the northern region of Mesoamerica. This resulted in an architectural style and iconography that blended the traditions of both cultures, an unusual feature among Mayan sites. The city's structures, such as the Temple of the Warriors, El Caracol, an observatory, and the Great Ball Court, are not just architectural marvels but also served significant cultural and religious functions. The buildings were designed in accordance with astronomical events. For instance, during the spring and autumn. Equinoxes, the shadow cast by the sun on the pyramid of Kukulkan creates the illusion of a serpent descending the staircase, symbolizing the feathered serpent god Kukulkan. Chichen Itza's Great Ball Court, the largest in Mesoamerica, is a testament to the importance of the ball game in Mayan society, which was not merely a sport but a ritual filled with symbolic meaning related to their cosmology. Culturally, Chichen Itza is a symbol of national pride and identity for Mexicans. It provides a tangible connection to the ancient civilizations that inhabited the land long before the arrival of the Spanish. It was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1988, and the Temple of Kukulkan was named one of the new seven wonders of the world in 2007. In modern times, Chichen Itza is a major tourist attraction and a focal point for studies of Mayan history, attracting millions of tourists and scholars each year.
It's a place where people can witness the architectural and astronomical prowess of the ancient Mayan civilization and gain insights into their complex societal structures and spiritual beliefs. Hegra, also known as al Hayr or Madain Salah, is a significant archaeological site located in northwestern Saudi Arabia. It is the largest conserved site of the civilization of the Nabataeans south of Petra in Jordan. This city was the second capital of the Nabataean Kingdom and comprises 111 monumental tombs, 94 of which are decorated, and water wells. The site is also an outstanding example of the Nabataeans' architectural accomplishment. As the second capital of the Nabataean Kingdom, Hegra flourished between the 2nd century BC and the 1st century AD. The city's prosperity was mainly due to its position on the caravan trade route that linked the Arabian Peninsula's southern regions with the north. The Nabataeans are known for their ability to control water resources, as seen in Hegra through the construction of wells, cisterns, and water conduits. Hegra contains numerous tombs with intricate designs and inscriptions, demonstrating the architectural and artistic mastery of the Nabataeans. These tombs, carved out of sandstone cliffs, reflect the skill and sophistication of the Nabataeans. The tombs of Hegra are notable for the extensive epigraphic evidence, with many tombs containing Nabataean inscriptions. These inscriptions provide valuable insights into the social, cultural, and religious practices of the Nabataeans. In 2008, Hegra was recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site due to its well-preserved rock-cut monumental tombs, which are unique to the Nabataean culture. With Saudi Arabia's recent push to open up to international tourism under its Vision 2030 plan, Hegra is a key cultural site attracting tourists from around the world. Its historical and cultural richness contributes to Saudi Arabia's cultural identity and heritage. The conservation of Hegra is an example of preserving and promoting cultural heritage. The site offers a window into the past, showcasing the unique and sophisticated civilization of the Nabataeans. The art and architecture of the Nabataeans as seen in Hegra have had a lasting impact on the aesthetic traditions of the region. The intricate facades of the tombs and the overall urban design of the city have influenced subsequent architectural styles. Hegra holds immense historical and cultural significance as a testament to the Nabataean civilization, offering valuable insights into their lifestyle, architecture, and artistic skills. It also plays a crucial role in Saudi Arabia's cultural tourism and contributes to the preservation and promotion of the country's rich cultural heritage. Yuvalsik, also spelled Yuvlersik or Yuvalsi, is a historically significant site in Greenland. Located on the southeastern coast, it is renowned for the well-preserved ruins of a Norse church that dates back to the 14th century. This church, known as Valsi Church, or Valso Kirk in Danish, is the best-preserved Norse ruin in Greenland. Uvalsik holds a pivotal place in the history of Greenland, being one of the key sites representing the Norse era. The Norse, also known as the Vikings, arrived in Greenland around the 10th century, and their presence in this region is recorded until the 15th century. The church at Uvalsik is a testament to the architectural skills and community organization of these Norse settlers. The last written record of the Norse in Greenland comes from Valsi Church. In 1408, a wedding was held at this church, the event of which was documented in Iceland. This wedding, between Thorstein Olafsson and Sigrid Bjorn's daughter, is the last known official Norse event in Greenland before the eventual disappearance of the Norse settlements. The cultural significance of Uvalsik lies in its connection to Norse heritage and its role in Greenland's identity. The site provides a tangible link to the country's Norse past, reminding the Greenlandic people of the rich tapestry of cultures that have influenced their history. For the Inuit, who are the majority population in Greenland today, Uvalsik represents a symbol of the long human history in this harsh Arctic environment. While the Inuit and the Norse come from distinct cultural backgrounds, the site is a reminder of the shared human capacity to adapt and thrive in challenging conditions. Uvalsik also has international cultural significance. It provides valuable insight into the Norse way of life during the medieval period, contributing to global understanding of history and cultures. The site has attracted historians, archaeologists, and tourists from all over the world, making it a cultural landmark in Greenland. Uvalsik is a significant historical and cultural site in Greenland. It represents an important phase of Greenland's history, carries rich cultural symbolism, and contributes to the global understanding of human adaptation and survival in harsh environments. Stonehenge holds significant cultural and historical importance for several reasons. Stonehenge is a remarkable example of ancient engineering and construction. The transportation and arrangement of the massive stones, some of which were brought from over 150 miles, 240 kilometers, away, demonstrate the impressive skills and knowledge of the people who built it.
The monument stands as a testament to the ingenuity and craftsmanship of early civilizations. Stonehenge is believed to have been a site of religious or ceremonial significance. The alignment of the stones with celestial events, particularly the solstices, suggests that it may have been used for rituals related to the cycles of the sun and moon. The careful arrangement of the stones and the presence of burial mounds nearby indicate that it held spiritual and ceremonial importance for the ancient people who constructed and used it. Stonehenge represents the rich prehistoric heritage of the British Isles. It is part of a larger complex of ancient sites in the surrounding landscape, known as the Stonehenge and Avebury World Heritage Site. The presence of other ancient burial mounds, monuments, and earthworks in the area suggests that Stonehenge was a focal point within a wider cultural landscape of the time. Stonehenge has become an enduring symbol of British history and identity. It has been depicted in literature, art, and popular culture for centuries, contributing to its iconic status. The monument is often associated with myths, legends, and mystical interpretations, adding to its allure and cultural significance. Stonehenge continues to be a subject of archaeological research and study. Excavations and scientific analysis of the site and its surroundings have provided valuable insights into ancient cultures, their beliefs, and their social structures. The findings at Stonehenge contribute to our understanding of prehistoric societies and their connections to the natural world. Stonehenge's cultural and historical significance lies in its status as a world-renowned ancient monument that represents human achievements, spirituality, and the enduring mysteries of the past. It serves as a powerful symbol of the rich history and cultural heritage of the United Kingdom. The Plain of Jars in Laos is an archaeological site that holds immense historical and cultural significance. Here are some key aspects of its importance. The Plain of Jars is known for its large collection of ancient megalithic stone jars. These jars, estimated to be around 2,000 years old, are scattered across the landscape in various sizes, ranging from small to massive, with some reaching up to 3 meters in height. The mystery surrounding their purpose and the techniques used to create them adds to their allure. The Plain of Jars is closely linked to the cultural heritage of the local population, primarily the Lao people. The jars are considered sacred objects by many communities in Laos, and they are often associated with legends, myths, and rituals passed down through generations. The site plays a crucial role in maintaining and preserving the cultural identity of the Lao people. The Plain of Jars is situated along ancient trade routes that connected various regions of Southeast Asia. It is believed that the jars may have played a role in facilitating trade and exchange of goods between different communities. The craftsmanship involved in creating the stone jars is remarkable. The jars were carved from solid rock, and their sheer size and weight make their transportation and placement a remarkable engineering feat. The intricate details and designs on some of the jars showcase the artistic skills of the ancient people who created them. The Plain of Jars has endured the test of time, surviving natural elements, conflicts, and human activities. It serves as a symbol of resilience and cultural continuity for the Lao people and a testament to the enduring legacy of past civilizations in the region. Ongoing archaeological excavations and research at the site have yielded significant discoveries. These findings not only shed light on the purpose and history of the jars but also provide valuable insights into the ancient civilizations, their societal structures, and cultural practices. The Plain of Jars is located in close proximity to other historical and cultural sites in Southeast Asia. Its geographical position has made it a meeting point for various cultures, contributing to the cultural exchange and interconnections in the region throughout history. The Plain of Jars faces several challenges, including the impact of time, natural weathering, and the legacy of war. Efforts are being made to preserve and protect the site, including conservation measures, documentation, and raising awareness about its historical and cultural significance. The Plain of Jars continues to intrigue and fascinate researchers, visitors, and locals alike, providing a glimpse into the rich historical and cultural tapestry of Laos and Southeast Asia as a whole. The purpose and origin of the jars have puzzled archaeologists for decades. The lack of written records and limited archaeological evidence make it challenging to decipher their exact significance. Several theories suggest that the jars were used for burial practices, as cremation sites, or as containers for storing food and water. The ongoing archaeological research at the site continues to unravel its mysteries. In recognition of its historical and cultural importance, the Plain of Jars was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2019. This recognition highlights the global significance of the site and emphasizes the need for its protection and preservation. The Plain of Jars carries a tragic legacy from the Vietnam War era. The region was heavily bombed, and unexploded ordnance, UXO, still poses a significant threat to the local population. 
Efforts are being made to clear the area of UXO and ensure the safety of visitors and local communities. The Plain of Jars has become a significant tourist attraction in Laos. Its unique archaeological landscape, combined with the cultural and historical intrigue, draws visitors from around the world. Tourism provides economic opportunities for the local communities, contributing to their livelihoods and supporting the development of the region. The Oracle of Delphi, also known as the Pythia, holds an important place in the cultural and historical narrative of ancient Greece, influencing decisions ranging from personal matters to crucial socio-political affairs. Located in the Sanctuary of Apollo in Delphi, the Oracle was a significant religious institution in the ancient world. It functioned as a center for prophetic insight and wisdom, with the Pythia serving as the high priestess of the Temple of Apollo. The Pythia was believed to channel the god Apollo and deliver prophecies while in a state of divine ecstasy. Historical Significance The Oracle of Delphi played a critical role in Greek history and politics. Many decisions, including those related to war, governance, and colonization, were often taken after seeking the Oracle's advice. Kings, generals, and citizens alike sought the Oracle's wisdom, which they believed could predict the future and provide guidance. For example, the Oracle's influence is evident in Herodotus's histories, where he recounts that the Spartans consulted the Oracle before the Battle of Thermopylae. Similarly, the Oracle played a role in the legend of Oedipus, when an Oracle's prophecy was said to have led to his tragic downfall. Cultural Significance Beyond its historical role, the Oracle of Delphi also had profound cultural significance. It was considered the omphalos, or navel, of the world, the meeting point between the divine and human realms. This symbolic status made Delphi a religious and cultural hub, where people from all corners of the Greek world would gather, particularly during the Pythian Games, which were one of the four Panhellenic Games of ancient Greece. The Pythian Games, held every four years in honor of Apollo, included a variety of events such as athletic contests, chariot races, and artistic performances. These events made Delphi a significant site for cultural exchange, fostering unity among the diverse city-states of Greece. Moreover, the concept of the oracle influenced the Greek understanding of divinity and prophecy, which subsequently shaped Western religious and philosophical thought. The ambiguous and often cryptic responses of the oracle, known as Delphic prophecies, highlighted the idea of fate and human free will, themes that recur throughout Greek literature and philosophy. Today, the site of Delphi is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognized for its profound influence on Greek culture and history. The Oracle of Delphi remains a symbol of wisdom and prophecy, not only in the context of ancient Greece but also in broader Western cultural memory. It's a testament to the central role of religion, prophecy, and ritual in human societies. Baalbek, located in modern-day Lebanon, holds significant historical and cultural significance due to its rich heritage and the impressive archaeological site found within its borders. Here's an overview of the historical and cultural significance of Baalbek. Ancient Roman Ruins Baalbek is renowned for its well-preserved Roman ruins, which date back to the 1st century AD. The most prominent structures are the massive temples dedicated to Jupiter, Bacchus, and Venus. These temples are among the largest and most impressive Roman temple complexes ever constructed and represent the pinnacle of Roman architecture in the region. Baalbek was known as Heliopolis during the ancient period and was one of the most important religious centers in the Roman Empire. The name Heliopolis means, City of the Sun, highlighting its association with the worship of the sun god, Jupiter Heliopolitanus. The temples at Baalbek were a hub of religious and cultural activities, drawing pilgrims and visitors from across the Roman Empire. Before the Roman period, Baalbek was a significant religious center for the Phoenicians. The city was dedicated to the worship of the Phoenician god Baal, and the site has evidence of Phoenician temples beneath the Roman structures. The Phoenicians were renowned sailors and traders and played a crucial role in Mediterranean trade during ancient times. Baalbek was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1984. The site's inclusion recognizes its outstanding universal value as an exceptional example of Roman architecture and its integration with earlier Phoenician traditions. The designation also aims to preserve and protect the archaeological remains and promote their cultural significance to the world. The ruins of Baalbek showcase exceptional architectural and engineering achievements. The temple's massive stone blocks, some weighing over 1,000 tons, are a testament to the ingenuity and skill of the ancient builders. The intricate carvings, Corinthian columns, and the grandeur of the structures continue to amaze visitors, inspiring awe for the craftsmanship and artistic achievements of the past. Baalbek's historical significance extends beyond the Roman period. 
the city has witnessed the influence of various civilizations, including the Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, Arabs, and Ottomans. This amalgamation of cultures has contributed to the diversity and richness of the region's heritage, making it a unique cultural crossroads in the Middle East. Baalbek attracts numerous tourists from around the world, contributing significantly to the local economy. The archaeological site serves as a symbol of national pride for Lebanon, and efforts are made to preserve and promote its historical and cultural significance. Baalbek holds immense historical and cultural significance due to its well-preserved Roman ruins, Phoenician origins, architectural marvels, and its role as a cultural crossroads. Its designation as a UNESCO World Heritage Site further solidifies its importance and ensures its preservation for future generations. Baalbek stands as a testament to the achievements of ancient civilizations and continues to captivate visitors with its grandeur and historical allure. The Great Sphinx of Giza, located on the western bank of the Nile River in Egypt, is an iconic monument that holds both historical and cultural significance. Here's an overview of its importance. The Great Sphinx is believed to have been built during the reign of Pharaoh Khafre, around 2500 BCE, as part of his funerary complex. It is one of the oldest known monumental sculptures in the world, reflecting the advanced architectural and artistic skills of ancient Egyptians. The Sphinx was strategically positioned at the entrance of the Giza necropolis, serving as a guardian to the three great pyramids, Khafre, Khufu, and Menkora. Its imposing presence symbolized protection and divine power, deterring tomb robbers and safeguarding the pharaoh's eternal resting place. The Sphinx was a manifestation of the pharaoh's authority and godlike status. It represented the pharaoh's connection with the divine and their role as a mediator between the gods and the people. Lion's body symbolized strength and the human head represented intelligence and wisdom. The Sphinx has deep-rooted connections with Egyptian mythology and religious beliefs. It is often associated with the sun god Ra and the solar cult, symbolizing the eternal cycle of life and death. In some legends, the Sphinx was considered a guardian of secret knowledge and the divine mysteries. The Great Sphinx has become an internationally recognized symbol of ancient Egypt and a prominent icon of human civilization. Its image is widely reproduced in various forms of art, literature, and popular culture, serving as a visual representation of Egypt's rich history and cultural heritage. The Sphinx is a major tourist attraction, drawing millions of visitors each year. It plays a crucial role in promoting tourism in Egypt and contributes significantly to the country's economy. Moreover, it is deeply ingrained in the national identity of Egypt, serving as a symbol of pride and a reminder of the nation's glorious past. The Sphinx continues to be a subject of archaeological study and exploration. Researchers and experts are constantly uncovering new insights into its construction, purpose, and the ancient Egyptian civilization as a whole. These ongoing discoveries contribute to our understanding of ancient history and culture. The Great Sphinx of Giza holds immense historical and cultural significance. As a testament to ancient Egyptian civilization, it represents the mastery of architecture and artistry of the time. It symbolizes the power of pharaohs, their connection with the divine, and serves as a significant cultural icon for Egypt and the world. Tiwanaku, located near Lake Titicaca in Bolivia, is an ancient archaeological site that holds immense historical and cultural significance. Dating back to approximately 1500 BCE, Tiwanaku was once the capital of a powerful pre-Columbian civilization known as the Tiwanaku Empire. Here are some of the key historical and cultural aspects that make Tiwanaku significant. Tiwanaku was the political, economic, and cultural center of a vast empire that encompassed parts of present-day Bolivia, Peru, Chile, and Argentina. The empire flourished between 300 and 1000 CE, exerting significant influence over the Andean region. Tiwanaku showcases remarkable architectural achievements, with its monumental stone structures and intricate stone carvings. Structures like the Akapana Pyramid, Pumapunku, and the Temple of Kalasasaya display advanced engineering and construction techniques, indicating the architectural prowess of the Tiwanaku civilization. Tiwanaku was a hub of religious and cultural activities. The site features a series of ceremonial courtyards, ritual platforms, and sunken temples, suggesting its importance as a place of worship and spiritual significance. The Gateway of the Sun, an iconic stone monolith adorned with intricate carvings, symbolizes the central role of solar worship in the Tiwanaku belief system. The Tiwanaku civilization left behind a rich legacy of art and iconography. Elaborate sculptures, pottery, and textiles adorned with intricate motifs and symbols provide insights into their cosmology, religious beliefs, and daily life. The art of Tiwanaku demonstrates the influence it exerted over subsequent Andean cultures. 
the Tiwanaku civilization developed sophisticated agricultural techniques to sustain its large population. They engineered an elaborate system of raised fields, canals, and terraces to maximize agricultural productivity. Their mastery of high-altitude farming and water management contributed to their economic prosperity and the sustenance of their empire. Despite the decline of the Tiwanaku Empire, its cultural and religious traditions continued to influence subsequent Andean civilizations, including the Inca Empire. Many aspects of Inca art, architecture, and religious practices can be traced back to the Tiwanaku civilization, demonstrating its enduring impact on the region. Recognizing its outstanding universal value, Tiwanaku was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2000. This recognition highlights its significance as a cultural and historical treasure and emphasizes the need for its preservation and further research. Tiwanaku stands as a testament to the remarkable achievements and cultural sophistication of the ancient Tiwanaku civilization. Its archaeological remains provide valuable insights into the history, art, and religious practices of the Andean region, making it a site of immense historical and cultural significance. The first emperor of China, commonly known as Qin Shi Huang, holds immense historical and cultural significance in Chinese history. As the founder and ruler of the Qin Dynasty, 221 to 206 BCE, he unified China for the first time and laid the foundation for the country's imperial system that lasted for over two millennia. One of the key achievements of the first emperor was the unification of China. Prior to his reign, China was divided into several warring states, known as the Warring States Period. Qin Shi Huang successfully conquered and assimilated these states through military campaigns, political strategies, and the implementation of a centralized bureaucracy. This unification brought about political stability, economic growth, and cultural assimilation, forming the basis of a unified Chinese civilization. Another significant contribution of the first emperor was the standardization of various aspects of Chinese society. He implemented a series of reforms, including the standardization of weights, measures, currency, and the Chinese script. This standardization promoted communication, trade, and administrative efficiency throughout the empire. The standardization of the Chinese script, in particular, laid the groundwork for future developments in Chinese calligraphy and literature. Qin Shi Huang is also remembered for his colossal construction projects, most notably the Great Wall of China. Although the Great Wall existed in various forms before his reign, it was under the first emperor that the separate walls were connected and expanded into a formidable defensive barrier. This construction project not only protected the northern borders but also symbolized the power and grandeur of the Qin dynasty. Furthermore, Qin Shi Huang's reign witnessed the construction of his mausoleum, which included the famous terracotta army. The terracotta army consists of thousands of life-sized statues of soldiers, horses, and chariots, serving as guardians of the emperor in the afterlife. This incredible archaeological find provides valuable insights into the military organization, weapons, and artistic skills of ancient China. Despite his significant achievements, Qin Shi Huang's rule was also marked by controversy and harsh governance. He centralized power, suppressed dissent, and implemented strict legalistic policies. Books and scholars who did not conform to his ideology were burned and buried, leading to the infamous event known as the burning of books and burying of scholars. However, his contributions to unification and standardization were crucial in shaping the future development of Chinese civilization. The first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, played a pivotal role in Chinese history. His unification of China, standardization efforts, monumental construction projects, and controversial governance all contribute to his lasting historical and cultural significance. The legacy of Qin Shi Huang and the Qin dynasty laid the foundation for the subsequent imperial dynasties and left an indelible mark on Chinese civilization. Mesa Verde National Park, located in southwestern Colorado, USA, is home to one of the most significant archaeological sites in North America, the Mesa Verde Cliff Dwellings. These cliff dwellings were once inhabited by the ancestral Puebloans, also known as the Anasazi, who settled in the region over 700 years ago. The historical and cultural significance of Mesa Verde lies in its preservation of ancient Native American architecture, artifacts, and the insights it offers into the lives of the ancestral Puebloans. The cliff dwellings of Mesa Verde are architectural marvels, built within natural alcoves and caves in the canyon walls. These dwellings were constructed using sandstone bricks, wooden beams, and mortar, blending seamlessly with the surrounding environment. The intricate construction techniques used in these dwellings showcase the advanced engineering skills of the ancestral Puebloans. 
The preservation of Mesa Verde's cliff dwellings has allowed archaeologists and historians to gain valuable insights into the daily lives, culture, and societal structure of the ancestral Puebloans. The dwellings contain well-preserved artifacts such as pottery, tools, and artwork, shedding light on their agricultural practices, religious beliefs, and artistic expressions. Mesa Verde is a testament to the rich cultural heritage of the Native American tribes that once inhabited the region. The site represents the endurance and adaptability of the ancestral Puebloans, who thrived in this arid landscape for centuries. It serves as a reminder of their ingenuity, craftsmanship, and harmonious relationship with nature. In recognition of its exceptional cultural value, Mesa Verde National Park was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1978. This prestigious designation highlights the global significance of the cliff dwellings and their importance in understanding the history and culture of the ancestral Puebloans. Mesa Verde attracts visitors from around the world, providing them with an opportunity to explore and learn about the ancient Native American civilizations. The park offers guided tours, interpretive exhibits, and educational programs that enhance public understanding of the site's historical and cultural significance. It serves as an educational resource for researchers, students, and enthusiasts interested in archaeology and Native American history. Mesa Verde and its cliff dwellings symbolize the importance of cultural preservation and the need to protect and respect archaeological sites. The ongoing conservation efforts at Mesa Verde ensure that future generations can continue to appreciate and study the legacy of the ancestral Puebloans. The Mesa Verde cliff dwellings stand as a testament to the remarkable achievements of the ancestral Puebloans and provide a window into the history, culture, and architecture of the ancient Native American civilizations. Their historical and cultural significance continues to inspire awe and appreciation, making Mesa Verde National Park a cherished treasure in the United States and the wider world. Darren Kuyu, also known as the Deep Well, is a significant historical and cultural site located in Turkey. Situated in the Cappadocia region, specifically in the town of Darren Kuyu, it holds immense importance due to its unique underground city. Darren Kuyu is an ancient subterranean city that was constructed by the Hittites around the 8th century BCE. It was later expanded and utilized by several civilizations, including the Phrygians, Persians, Byzantines, and early Christians. The city was primarily built to serve as a refuge and protection from various external threats and invasions throughout history. The underground city of Darren Kuyu played a crucial role during periods of conflict and persecution. Its intricate network of tunnels, rooms, and chambers allowed the inhabitants to live safely underground for extended periods. It provided shelter, storage facilities, places of worship, ventilation systems, and even wells for accessing fresh water. The city's historical significance lies in its remarkable engineering and architectural achievements. Darren Kuyu extends over eight levels, reaching a depth of approximately 85 meters, 279 feet, below the surface. It consists of numerous rooms, including living quarters, communal areas, stables, chapels, and even a school. The intricate ventilation system ensured a constant flow of fresh air, while large millstone doors were used to seal off different sections, enhancing the city's defensive capabilities. Darren Kuyu represents an invaluable cultural heritage and is a testament to the resourcefulness, resilience, and ingenuity of the ancient civilizations that inhabited the area. It offers insights into the social, religious, and daily lives of the people who sought refuge there. Exploring Darren Kuyu allows visitors to immerse themselves in the unique underground world and experience the historical and cultural richness of the region. It serves as a living museum, offering a glimpse into the past and providing a tangible connection to the ancestors who crafted this intricate underground complex. Darren Kuyu stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, highlighting its outstanding universal value and the need for its preservation. It attracts tourists from around the world, contributing to the local economy and promoting cultural exchange. Darren Kuyu holds significant historical and cultural importance as an underground city constructed by ancient civilizations. Its remarkable engineering feats and its role as a refuge during times of conflict make it a remarkable historical site. It stands as a testament to the creativity and resilience of humanity throughout the ages and offers visitors a unique opportunity to delve into the past and explore the cultural heritage of the region. The ancient temples of Malta hold a significant place in the island nation's history and culture. These temples are some of the oldest freestanding structures in the world, dating back to the Neolithic period, approximately between 3600 and 2500 BCE. The temples are located on the islands of Malta and Gozo, and they provide remarkable insights into the lives and beliefs of the ancient civilizations that inhabited the region. 
The temple complex in Malta comprises several sites, with the most notable ones being Hagar Key, Menajdra, Tarxan, and Gigiantia. Each temple has its own unique architectural features and layout, but they all share common elements that demonstrate the advanced construction techniques of their time. The temples were built using massive limestone blocks, carefully carved and fitted together without the use of mortar. These temples were not mere structures for religious worship, they were also centers of community life and likely played a vital role in various rituals and ceremonies. The purpose of the temples remains a subject of speculation, but it is believed that they served as places of worship, possibly dedicated to fertility goddesses or deities associated with agriculture and the natural world. The temple interiors feature intricately decorated walls, altars, and oracle holes. The walls are adorned with intricate stone carvings, including spirals, animal motifs, and depictions of humans. Some of these carvings are thought to have symbolic and religious significance, although their exact meanings remain largely unknown. The culture surrounding the ancient temples of Malta was undoubtedly vibrant and deeply rooted in the spirituality of the time. The people who constructed and used these temples were skilled artisans and farmers who relied on the land for their sustenance. They possessed a deep connection with nature in the cycles of the seasons, as evidenced by the presence of astronomical alignments within the temples, which allowed for accurate tracking of celestial events. The temple sites also reveal evidence of burial practices, further emphasizing the spiritual significance of these places. Burial chambers and tombs have been discovered in close proximity to the temples, suggesting that the sites may have served as sacred spaces for ancestor worship or rituals associated with death and the afterlife. The ancient temples of Malta represent a remarkable achievement in ancient architecture and bear witness to the rich cultural and religious traditions of the Neolithic people who inhabited the region. They are recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Sites and are major tourist attractions, offering visitors a glimpse into the island's distant past and the enduring legacy of its ancient civilizations. The Pyramid of Djoser, also known as the Steppe Pyramid, holds profound historical and cultural significance in Egypt and beyond. It is a monument that dates back to the 27th century BCE, during the Third Dynasty of Egypt's Old Kingdom. Located in Saqqara, an ancient burial ground near Cairo, the Steppe Pyramid is considered one of the earliest colossal stone buildings and is the earliest colossal stone building and the earliest large-scale cut stone construction. The Pyramid of Djoser is recognized as the first monumental structure built of stone in Egypt. A significant shift from the mud-brick tombs that were previously used, the pyramid was designed by Imhotep, the chancellor to the pharaoh Djoser and high priest of the sun god Ra. Imhotep is often credited as being one of the world's first known architects. The design of the pyramid of Djoser represents a key stage in the evolution of pyramid construction. Its step design, six stacked mastabas, or flat-roofed, rectangular structures with outward sloping sides, is considered a precursor to the smooth-sided pyramids, like the Great Pyramid of Giza. The pyramid is part of a larger mortuary complex that was the first of its kind. This complex included a temple, courtyards, shrines, and living quarters for priests. Displaying an intricate layout that would become a standard for royal funerary architecture in ancient Egypt. The Pyramid of Djoser was not only a tomb for the pharaoh but also a symbol of his absolute power and a tool for his journey to the afterlife. The complex was designed with a series of ritualistic and symbolic elements such as false doors and a series of elaborate shafts leading down to the burial chamber, reflecting the profound spiritual beliefs of the Egyptians. The Pyramid of Djoser, like other Egyptian pyramids, has become a symbol of Egyptian national identity. It serves as a testament to the architectural genius and the organizational skills of the ancient Egyptians. Recognizing its historical and cultural significance, UNESCO designated the Pyramid of Djoser a World Heritage Site. In 1979 as part of the Memphis and its Necropolis, the Pyramid Fields from Giza to Dashur site. Today, the Pyramid of Djoser continues to captivate historians, architects, and tourists alike, offering profound insights into the religious beliefs, political organization, and architectural practices of ancient Egypt. Its legacy in the development of monumental architecture is seen not only in later pyramids but also in the wider landscape of global architecture.